What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Shinobu from Demon Slayer. For today's lesson, we'll be sketching on top of plain white sketch paper using a black 2B pencil. Let's move to a side grip. We're gonna sketch with a flat edge and sketch a circle in the center of our page. Let's start from the very top in the middle. Just gonna lightly work our way around the left side. Then bring that down towards the middle and go all the way around the right side. Now with our circle in place, let's add a couple guidelines. We're gonna start at the very top of our circle, sketch a line coming straight down towards the bottom of our page. And then we'll add another line going across from left to right, starting from the center of our circle, go out towards the left, extending past the circle, and we'll go out towards the right. Now we're gonna rotate the head facing towards the left. So let's start at the top of our circle. It's gonna curve this out. Just come down towards the bottom, and then just pull that back in towards the middle, just underneath the circle. And then we'll round up the side of the head. Starting from the left side of our circle, we're gonna come down, and then bend that in towards the middle. And from here, we're gonna angle up and out towards the right, and then bend that up. We're also gonna tilt the eyes coming down in an angle. Let's start on the right side of our circle, sketch a straight angle line coming down and then out. Now from here, we're gonna block in the eyes. Let's start on the left side, we're gonna sketch an oval. We're gonna go up, starting from that center line, going up towards the top, come down towards the bottom, and then pull that back up. Now right where the center line meets the eye line, we're gonna draw another oval, go a little bit larger, go all the way down, and then back up. Now this curved line is gonna be the center of the head. So just underneath the eye, let's block in the nose. Angling down and out, curve this in, and then back down towards the bottom. And then just underneath the nose, we're gonna curve the mouth going out, and then up towards that center line. And we'll connect the ends with a curve coming down and then back up. Let's block in the eyelids. On the outside of the left eye, we're gonna step out. It's gonna curve this up towards the top and then bring that down on the inside. Go to the right, step in, curve this up and then bend that back down. I'm gonna go back to that center line and draw on the left eyebrow. From here, it's gonna curve this up and then bend that down towards the outside of our circle. And now we're gonna move over and draw on the right eyebrow. Starting right here, curve this up, across that center line, and then bend that down. Now let's add a guideline for the edge of the hairline. Starting from the outside of the eyebrow, it's gonna curve this up, bring this in towards the middle, and then just fade that out towards the right. Let's continue by blocking out the hair bangs along the front. Starting from this point right in the middle, curve this up and out towards the left. Go back to the center, go up and out towards the top of the head. Now on the left side, I'm just gonna curve around the head and just bring that in. And then just angle this up and in behind the side of the head. Now you go back to that inside point, curve this up and out towards the right. It's gonna bring this down and out around the eye and then bend that in. Let's draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the side. I'm gonna connect the end to the top with a curve, going out and then down. Now I wanna tuck the side of the ear in behind the hair. Starting right here, it's gonna draw a half circle, going out and then back in along the bottom. Now we're gonna add some hair coming down along the side. Let's start from the inside of the ear, curve this down and out, come down with an angle line, pull that up and in underneath. Let's add some more hair over on the left side. Starting up here, come down and out, angle this down and in, 
and then go up and in behind the head. Now from here, draw the side of the neck coming down towards the shoulder. From the tip of the chin, we're going to step back towards the right, draw a straight line coming down. And then over on the right side, draw another straight line coming down. Let's go to the side of the neck on the left, draw a straight angled line going out towards the shoulder. And then angle this down towards the bottom. Let's lamp the top of the shoulder over on the right, come down and then out. Let's go back to the base of the neck, starting on the left, curve out and down. Go to the right side and do the same thing. And we'll draw on the edge of the collar. Starting underneath the chin, draw a straight angle line going towards the back of the neck. Now that we blocked in the head, let's draw that butterfly in behind. We're going to start on the top right side of the head, curl this up and out, draw a straight line coming down, and then angle that back in. Let's go to the center of the head, curl this up and out, and then angle this back down. Now let's draw on the bottom, starting down here, come down and out, and down and just bend that in and go straight up in behind the head. Now that we have the basic shape of the head, we're going to go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now from here we're going to go back and refine the outside edge of the head. Let's start from the eyelid on the left side. I'm just going to bend this in and then come down towards the cheek round up the cheek, and then pull that in towards the chin. Let's go back up to the top. I'm just going to round out the forehead, going up. I'm just going to bend that in towards the middle. Let's go back down to the chin and round up the right side of the head, going out, and just bending that up. And now we're going to move to the tip of our pencil and start adding some detail and refining the shape. Let's start with the outside of the left eyelid. I'm just going to curve this up and then in and come towards a point on the inside of the eye. And we'll add some thickness to the eyelid. And then going back and just filling that in. few lashes on the outside, just curving these out and up. I'm just going to work our way around the outside of the iris. I'm just going to start off a little bit lighter and then darken that up. I'm just going to trace out the contour of the nose bridge going up towards the eyebrow. And I'll add a light fold above the eye. I'm just going to readjust the position of the nose. So I'm just going to raise it up a little bit higher. And just come down along the bottom. And I'll add a light shade along the top of the nose. And I'll go back and clean up those guidelines. Again, I'm just repositioning the mouth a little bit higher. Lightly shading in the lower lip. And then we'll clean up our old lines.
and I'm going to move over and start tracing out the contour of the eyelid on the right. Again, just readjusting the size of the eye. And then we'll go back and clean up our lines. I'm going to add some detail inside the eyes, starting with a straight angle line along the top. Just going to lightly add in that glare. And then using the side edge of our pencil, we're just going to darken up the bottom and then fade that out as you go up towards that line. So we'll start out with our loose shading first. And then we'll go back and darken that up with the tip of our pencil. Now that we've drawn the face, let's go back and start tracing out the perimeter of the head. So readjusting the height of the hairline. And adding some shape to the hair. Just working our way across the bottom. Just gonna add some rough shape to the outside of the head. Now we're going to add some detail and shape to the ear, starting with the outside. I'm just tucking that in behind the hair. And we'll add the folds along the inside of the ear.
And we're going to move down and add some more detail to the neck and shoulders. I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add a light shade to the inside of the face, starting with the forehead, and then just working our way down towards the bottom. And we'll add a darker shadow along the outside cast from the hair on top of the head. And I'm just going to blend that out on the inside. Now the head's going to cast a dark shadow across the top of the neck. I'm just going to darken this up and then fade that out as you come down. And now from here I'm going to move to my 4B pencil and darken up the inside edge of the hair, just across the bottom. Using these short curved lines, just to add some texture and shadows. And we'll fade that out as we come down. Now I'm just going to darken up the rest of the hair.
And I'm just gonna go back and add a little bit more texture to the hair. Just adding some shadows across the bottom. And then just fading that out as we go up. I'm also adding a little bit of texture along the inside with the tip of my pencil. Just working with the flow of the hair. I'm just darkening up the top of the layer of the hair in the back and then just fading that out. And I'm going to add some texture across the back of the head. Just starting from the outside of this hair bang and just pulling this up towards the back. And we'll darken up the bottom, working our way around the ear. I'm just going to darken up that shadow underneath the head and this will help pull the head forward in our drawing. I'm adding some shape to the hair along the back. Now I'm going to go back and add some more detail to that butterfly. Going back and just darkening up the outside edge. And then the 
inside. Now I'm going to go back and add some more contrast to the eyes. So darkening up the bottom and then just blending that out. And as we get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Shinobu. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.